Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Disco Kitty the Crappy Crafter. Today we're going to make a little ocean diorama. Nothing, you know, just a little beach scene, you know. I, I haven't really tried one of these and I really want to. So I got some sand out of a bag of all-purpose sand. It's got some little stones in it that I'm hoping, you know, will work as some boulders. I got some sawdust that we're going to make into some um, flocking powder. I got some cicadas singing in my side yard, if you can hear it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to use the resincrete stuff, you know, just to get rid of it, really, because as we have determined, it's basically the exact same thing as the teak spurt stuff. See, I still have that over here, too. See? 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 Same packaging, same stickers, same everything, you know basically the same thing. So we're going to use the J-Diction stuff to get rid of it. And uh, yeah, so we're going to make a little base and then we're going to use UV resin to make the waves and the stuff. And we're going to filter out some fine sand to make some sand. And then we'll have some boulders that we can put in there. And then we'll, we'll, we'll filter some of this stuff and then we'll, we'll paint some of it green and then maybe I'll get some popsicle sticks and cut them up and, and maybe I'll use some alcohol ink and dilute it in water as a stain to make a little dock. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just get right into it. All right, let's just jump right into it. We're going to use 150 grams of powder and 50 gram. wait, is that right? 50 grams of water? Yeah, it's close enough. We're going to end up making some more, though, because it's not quite full, and that's okay. The second one that I make, because I will make a second one while I'm, you know, making the first one, because why not? I think use 200 grams either way. Uh, let's see. So I am sifting out some fine sand with the finest sifter that I've got. And I'll do the same thing with the sawdust. Sawdust is a little harder though. It doesn't want to go through. So I'm going to have to get a popsicle stick and steer that right up. Good. Then we'll get a slightly bigger one. You know, the, I mean, the holes are slightly bigger. And then we'll do that to, to both the the sawdust and the stones again and I will actually go through the stones a final time after I do this I don't do this one with the sawdust but I will go through the stones one final time and pick out by hand the biggest ones so we're going to mix up some of the fine sand and some of the UV resin and gonna make that sand nice and dark wet it'll look wet forever now I am gonna end up using a popsicle stick to stir this because this little tiny spoon is just not going to cut it not going to cut it and that's okay And I'm going to have to make another batch because I didn't make nearly enough. Because while most people would just put the sand at one end, I wanted the sand, I wanted a layer of sand over the whole thing. Because I didn't want it to just be bright white and, 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 and you know, not sandy underneath the UV resin. Because you, you, you'd still be able to see it, right? Kind of. You'd definitely be able to see the white underneath the blue, though. And I do use blue pigment ink in my UV resin. You're not going to be able to see it, though, because I'm going to forget to uh, record it. There's so many things I'm going to forget to record with this one. I am just doing so bad at that recently. So bad. I really need to just pay attention to what I'm doing. So, I ended up with three grades of... of of uh, sawdust. I'm going to use the finest that I have and I'm going to mix it up with a little tiny bit of water and some acrylic paint 
definitely going to need more than that. I watched a couple different videos on how to make your own flocking powder and everybody agreed that, well, most everybody agreed that acrylic paint and um, wood works the best for, you know, the cheap stuff. Some people say you should add lots of water, but then you'd have to let it dry or bake it for a really long time. I only added just a little tiny bit of water, just enough to, to make it flow a little bit better. And then I, I left it on a paper towel in front of a mild fan for an hour. And I think that worked pretty well. And I do make three different colors. They're so pretty. It actually worked really well. I was surprised. Okay, so here is where I forgot to, to record the first thing. I made some blue UV resin, sapphire blue, a little bit dark, but that's okay. Stirred it up real good, poured it on. Now we're going to cure it. And now we're going to put a clear layer on because I don't want the blue to mess up the white that I'm going to put in. Just a little bit of white, you know, for wave caps. I haven't gotten out my heat gun at this point, and I probably should have. I'm going to try using a torch at first, and that is just not going to work. I probably should have warmed up the resin to begin with, because I feel like it's a little thick to do what I wanted to do anyways. But, I mean, it kind of works. Here's the torch, doing a whole lot of nothing. I mean, it, it works in the end. It's not horrible. Here's the heat gun. Yay! This is my first time using heat gun doing this, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It's okay. I'm definitely going to do some more. Because like I said, I made another one of these trinket trays. Just because, you know, it, it sat curing while I was doing all the resin stuff on this one, so why not? And here is where I forgot to film the second amount of stuff where I put down I put down a, a layer of UV, just, just a puddle of UV resin, and then put the stones on, sprinkled some flocking powder on, and then cured it. And here we're going to finish it up with a little edging of grass. So that is just standard... Elmer's white glue in the little cup and it's been watered down a lot because what I'm going to use I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pipette to yeah to uh, drip it on mix it up I think it works pretty well I made way too much of that watered down glue and that's all right I have a gallon of that glue. Don't ask. But I think it works really well. What do you guys think? I think this came out super cute. And here it is. There's some bubbles and some, you know, flaws, but... Look at those rocks. Those rocks are so cute. The grass is cute. It's all cute. Well, I think that came out pretty well. I know it's super simple. You know, there's no like, there's no, there's no interestingness to it. And uh, I, I really should have probably left the sand just over here on the side, but I wanted to see what would happen, you know? I probably could have just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think it came out really cute the way it is, though. What do you think? Some little rocks and some grass and some, some, some waves and some stuff. And what do you think? I think it came out super cute. And I'm definitely going to do another one. 
It might even be fairly soon because I made a second one of these while I was making this just in case I screwed it up big time. But I don't I don't think I did. I don't I mean there are some weird bubbles in there. But I think it came out really fun. It's fun. It's cute. I like it. Maybe next time I will have some, like a dock or something. I know I said I was going to do that this time, but I got distracted and, and I think I was lucky I finished what I was doing. So, um, yeah. I mean, I'm very unhappy with the mold. Can you see that? It's all wonky. It's it's kind of flat on this side, but on this side it's like re Okay, anyways. But uh both of the molds that shape and size that I got with the two different casting compounds, the the Texpert, Texpert. I still don't know how to spit, say that. T expert. We'll just call it the T expert. The T expert was smooshed in on one side. The J diction was smooshed in on one side. So, you know, it is what it is. But I think it came out super cute. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you would have done it differently. Let me know what you want to see for the next diorama. We don't get all like there no animals and no people yet. We're not we're not doing animals and people. If you're lucky, I might put a tree in there. Maybe. Because I got some flocking powder now. Flocking powder. But I think it worked pretty well. What do you think? Alright, anyways, so Thank you for coming and visiting with me and, you know, go make something like this on your own and then tag me and we can compare notes and stuff and uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. Alright, until next week, stay safe.